Well, hello, I'm going to show you a quick little, uh, some time saving techniques that we have right here on Google Classroom. Uh, the first one to do is this one, saved announcements. So, uh, you can go ahead and type announcements and stuff in advance and have them scheduled. So, uh, hypothetically, say my class begins the next day at 7.45 a.m. And I'm going to give them a nice little pop quiz, uh, to start the day. So I'm going to type my questions here, uh, and I'm going to schedule it to pop up at the exact time, um, that the class is supposed to begin. So that way I can have everything kind of done in advance when I'm actually thinking about it, maybe you're a little slow to get going in the morning anything like that waiting for your coffee to kick on in uh, you can go ahead and do this scheduled right here it's going to automatically schedule uh, for your class going to post anytime right through there so maybe you're going to give students an extension uh, on an assignment but you don't want to tell them that during class because you want them to work extra hard uh, so maybe you're going to post it to schedule at the end of the class anything like that go ahead and click scheduled announcement right through there it's going to make your life a lot easier um, it's also really nice if you know for a fact you're going to be gone in advance like you've got to um, go out of town or anything like that uh, you can actually schedule all your stuff to happen even though you're not going to be there which makes it really effective when it comes to working with uh, with your students when you're not there go ahead and click schedule the only downside with clicking schedule is you can only do it for one class but if I have multiple classes that have the same thing I just copy and paste it save yourself some time so we're gonna schedule this assignment right here so the next day I start a class tomorrow at 7 45 a.m. those students are going to have a quiz and they can see it second thing I want to talk about real darn quick over here is scheduling assignments and the quick way to do this. So number one, I'm going to have my assignment called reading and questions. Uh, I've got my reading assignment. I'm going to pull the reading assignment up from Google Drive. Um, one thing that I recommend doing is if you're giving a reading assignment from like a link, uh, sometimes it's nice to put it over here into a Google Doc and then go through it. And I'll show you what I'm meaning on that. Um, you click on this right through here that way it takes away all the other stuff that students um, don't necessarily you don't want them looking at case okay, so you can kind of make it so they can't see it um, you can highlight anything that you really want to talk about um, so like for example we really want to talk about this right here um, if we really want our students to focus on this we can go through and we can highlight it uh, anything like this it's gonna be really really nice and makes life a lot easier for students you can also take care of any of the extra side little pop-ups and you can make this available offline so students can see it even if they don't have internet access which a lot of them like to use as an excuse so i'm gonna put that right up here um you can have just one file if you'd like i like my students to add some notes as they're going through the reading so i make a copy for each individual student the second one we're going to be doing is our questions okay you can click create right here and create a google form however if you do this it's kind of more challenging to add points so i make my pre-made one right through here okay so i've got my stuff right here uh my question i'm just going to have uh, Option A, blah, blah, blah. Just quickly get some stuff here so I don't waste your time because that's not fun. Um, now, if you go right under here, okay, uh, if you're having a timed quiz, I don't mess, rest, or recommend you make it required because if you do so, kids have to click something. That way, it'll just get it out of the system if they're not doing it. I always recommend click shuffle option order, though, because that's going to make your life much, much easier. Now you can see right here, there's not any option to add any points. So all I need to do for that one is I'm going to go up here to settings, okay, and I'm going to click quiz. I'm going to make this assignment a quiz, which means all of my points can be totaled up right in here. Uh, I do recommend if they're not doing a multiple choice quiz to always click later after manual review, or you're going to get the inevitable email from students. Why does my grade say this when I got this question wrong? That way you don't have to keep consistently ignoring them going right through there. Um, make sure you don't click edit after submit, or they can go ahead and say they got the right answer when they didn't but your time saving technique is this one right here so if, say i'm going to do three or four different multiple choice questions uh this takes some time to open it up every single time so if you go ahead click option one okay option a click done um, and then when i go to my next question because we're going to shuffle the option or the order option we just have to click this to duplicate hello bell uh, and then we're going to go right through here so i'm just going to have to reorder these maybe um, but it's quicker if i can just type the question but my right answer first and then it's automatically going to be here which is saving you time from going up here just like that so we're going to get all these things done just like that okay we're going to copy this on over here to link because it's just quicker and easier that way add our link uh fix our point total so maybe we're going to say this is going to be 10 points because 100 points is a lot of points uh, our due date is going to be at the end of the next day which is a default just like that our topic we're going to call our topic sarcasm because that's the name of the class sarcasm 101 uh, now i could assign it right now but students might start working on it so class starts at 7 45 the next morning but we also know they're going to have a quiz at the start of the class. So uh, it's going to take about 10 minutes to do the quiz. So I'm going to schedule this one for 
55, 10 minutes after 745. And it's going to go through just like that. So it's going to show up just like this. Then tomorrow at 745, it is going to pop right up on their screen and they are good to go. That is how you schedule stuff. This is going to save your life, make you save some time um, going from there. If you have any questions, anything of that nature, you are more than welcome to come and talk to me uh, or email me. I am happy to do it. Have a horrible, horrible day. Sarcasm 101. Good luck.